Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And I am going to make a bonus video before I make another video, supposedly tomorrow. And it's about something that's very important for the essence of the Leviathan universe. The main message for DC Comics is hope. There's always hope, no matter how drastic the problems become. The main message for Marvel is empathy, showing, like, relatability to all the heroes and villains, no matter how powerful they happen to be. For the Leviathan universe, that message is social toleration. Yes, everything's different, but does it matter that it's different? Why can't we all just get along? Just be fine with our differences and see it as a way to have some quality in life as a whole, and therefore satisfaction. Yeah. Um, I just, like, imagine being in a public area with dozens of people, including yourself, and you and one other person are the only ones in that group who are actually human. And everyone else is any species other than human, whether it be like reptilian people, aliens, ghosts, like biological hybrids, manufactured organisms, you know what I'm saying? If you were in that scenario, would you be fine with the fact that everyone else compared to you and one other person is considered different it's i believe it's always good to have some quality of life and if there are some differences all around you that would make life better like don't you ever feel like it gets old after a while to encounter mostly humans for most, if not all, of your entire life in terms of specific things, you know? Like, don't you wish that you could interact with a ghost or an alien or a robot or anything that isn't human? Like, at least once in your life. Do you ever wish that you could ride on top of a dragon through the depths of space without anything holding you back. That's how I perceive satisfaction. And I need satisfaction for all of this to work for everyone. It's not about fiction. It's about quality of life. Without anything holding you back. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars could break the mold. You know what I'm saying? Off topic. The latest character that I've made to date, as of right now, is a character known as Overall, which you could find on Levitt's Paradigm, which is a hyperlink on my blog. I'll try to send you the hyperlink on in the comments down below, just to do you a favor. Basically, Overall is a very interesting character, inspired from this one picture, which I have collected through circumstances, and I really hope, just so you know, when it comes to this picture that's going to show up, I refuse to do plagiarism, and at the same time, I don't want to be an unintended gateway. So the picture that you see here, is something that would be noteworthy in terms of a character. Like, imagine a woman who is that successful in her life, where she basically has thundering footsteps, echoing belches, quite the appetite, but ultimately the important thing being her loads of self-esteem. Because what I've been figuring through experience as a fictionologist and in the literal life as well, is that all women 
wish for any level of purpose and accomplishment in their lives. Like Marilyn Monroe was considered very successful as an actress during her time, and Joan of Arc literally risked her own life doing what she feels to be necessary despite what everyone else thought about her. I just feel like there's always these levels of success and I want to be a gentleman about it. And I understand that some people would disapprove of my um, addiction, but I don't want to be judged for my uh, mistakes. I want to be judged for my accomplishments, for my good. And I just want to end this stigma. Like, if you picture a giant woman in media, I want that to be referenced more often because I don't want anyone to think that giant women have a direct correlation with specific things, which is Bolsheviki. Like, what does that have to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? The, what I see in a giant woman is that she is successful, dominant, respected, praised. And that's what women throughout history have been desperate to get, is some level of decency in their lives. Whether it be Joan of Arc, Marilyn Monroe, or of course, Susan herself. I just hope that this message is comprehensible for you guys. I just, I just figured last night that I should just explain it to you guys. Like, I, last I checked, have 8.5k views, so I'm almost there to 10k views, and I really hope that it would be more exponential by that point, because I want to matter in this life. And since I am mortal, I want my message and my memory to be everlasting, because otherwise, what's even the point of my existence? You know? Like Shakespeare was cherished of his stories long after he passed away. People still cherished his work. And that is a blessing on his behalf. And you know how it is with Stan Lee. I'm just saying. So if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I am glad that I have all of this recognition from multiple different countries across the world so far. I just hope that I could be everlasting in my memory. You know? Oh, and also, sometime on the 5th of next month is my grandparents' wedding anniversary celebration, which I'll try to make a recording of that for the sake of you guys. And also, there's an undisclosed chance that I'll be heading to Yellowstone with my family, which I would also do for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the month and such. Yeah. And, um, happy summer vacation for everyone who's in school as we speak. I promise you it will be worth it once the time is nigh through experience. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your time in transmission.